everyone uh, this is Shweta and I am coming to you live for video one training of ClickUp so this is uh, basically how not here um, you would have to go to clickup.com and all you have to do is click on sign up uh, and just use your email and sign up once you sign up you'll receive a confirmation code on your email all you have to do is put in that code and create your workspace so when you create your workspace you'll be asked to uh, name your works workspace so let me sh so this is a new account that I've created for the purpose of this training so when you create an account and log in you'll be asked to create your workspace now you can name your workspace after your business name or it could just be your name since I am my business I am a personal brand I've kept it to my name so uh, basically every account has workspaces and within the workspace is where everything lives so now we are inside my workspace and within that workspace is this dashboard so the one thing uh, really clear point of differentiation between ClickUp and other project management tools like Trello and Asana is that in ClickUp you have multiple views available so you can look at a task in in a list view in a board view a calendar view so it'll be a calendar and you'll know you know what date what task is due and stuff like that and you have uh, we also have box views and Gantt views which will be talking about a little later but they're a little more advanced and there's only one available on the free uh, free account so you want to make sure you want to use it only when it's needed but again the basic ones are list board and calendar in Trello we have the board view and Asana has different views but you cannot really uh, toggle between the views you have to select one and stay with it so that's kind of the basic difference between ClickUp and Trello and Asana uh, the other thing is uh, kind of the hierarchy so like I said we are inside one workplace which is basically going to be your business workplace or your personal workspace now within the workspace we have multiple spaces Again, I will give you a flowchart about the hierarchy because sometimes, you know, when you're new to the platform, you might want uh, you might want to have a visual view of how everything looks like. So uh, within the workspace, so consider your business to be your workspace. Now, within that workspace, you will have multiple spaces. And within the spaces, you will have folders. Within the folders, you will have lists. And within the lists, you will have tasks and then you'll have checklists and subtasks so that's a, a huge kind of hierarchy right so let's go go into it one by one so I'm gonna go ahead and create my space so I am gonna create for the purpose of this demo I'm gonna create a marketing space so let's call this marketing I'll hit next and here I can choose uh, how I want the space to look like in the dashboard. So you can choose a color for it so that you can differentiate it. You can choose different icons. I'm going to use uh, like Wi-Fi maybe or something else. Let's choose this. Next. You can keep it private or you can make it a part of workspace. If you're making a part of uh, if you're making it a part of your workspace, then any person who has access to your workspace can access this particular space. So I'm just going to keep it uh, open to my workspace. And then here, this is basically the statuses. So think of Trello right most of y'all have used Trello so in Trello you have multiple boards and sometimes the way you create those boards are based on statu statuses right so think of it as a Kanban board if you don't know what a Kanban board is let me show it to you
it's basically this kind of board structure where you start from um, to do and then you're like in progress and then complete right so you have these three different boards um, let me show this to you these images are complicated okay, let me just open this So if you can see uh, this board view, this is an example of a Kanban board, which is basically, this is a backlog, then you have in progress, peer review, in test, done, block. So in terms of our business, we could have different boards like to do, in progress, uh, completed, or, uh, you know, under review or whatever. So that is how we set up statuses here. So. You could have a to-do status, you could have a completed status, you could have an in-progress status, depending on your uh, space. Uh, so this is a marketing space, right? So what are the different statuses we could have? We could have something to do. So I could change the, I could rename it or I could change the color to just kind of differentiate. So if it's to do, I'll keep it red. And then I want to have a status in progress. So that means I am working on it right now. And you can customize these statuses and there are also examples here. I'll show that to you in a minute. So in progress, I want to have that as blue. So I'll change the color here to blue. And then there's a complete status, which is basically or need a required status here. So here are the three statuses I want to use. I want to keep it a little simple, but like I said, you have certain examples that you could use. So the, these are the marketing statuses. You have different open concept, in progress, running, review. Then you have content statuses. All of these are content statuses. This is the normal one. I'll just, let me redo this. So I'll do this. I will call this to do to do and again change the color to red in progress is in progress and I want to change the color to blue and then closed I want to call it complete and green okay and i can save this template of statuses so i can save the template to normal so now normal is basically these now i'll hit next now click apps are basically different things that you can use as part of your click up and again it all of it can sound a little confusing but that's why uh, i'm taking today to only talk about the basics so that when you go ahead and create your click up account you can go through this process and understand it better. So click apps are basically different functions as part of your dashboard, right? So you can add tags, you can have time estimates, you can reschedule dependencies. So for example, if you are my VA and you creating the graphic depends on me writing the blog post, so you have a dependency on me. So this is related to that. Uh, Remap, I'll just choose your all because even if I don't use it, that's completely okay. But now that I've chosen all, I have an option to use them. So I'll hit next. And these are the views. So you have all of these views available. Like I said, the list view, the board view, and the calendar view are the very basic. And you should be using them no matter what kind of uh, space you're creating. You could also use the Gantt view. And I will talk a little more about it um, in, in the future uh trainings just because it is a little complicated but these three are the main ones and we will look at them right now so now review space so this is the name of the space this is the avatar i use this is the workspace uh, i have three statuses and i've used all click apps and then the default settings are my list view board view and calendar view and i also have used the gantt view now i'm going to create the space So now my marketing space has been created. Now within the space, I can either create folders or I can create lists. So the way the hierarchy works is you have the space, 
which we just created called marketing. Then within that space, you can have folders and then within the folders, you can have lists or you can totally skip folders and directly create lists. So for now, I'm going to create folders. So the way I'm going to create folders is based on the different channels of marketing I use. So let's create a folder for uh, YouTube. And share folders. So here are the, uh, the statuses that I'm going to be using are the ones that we are using for the marketing space itself. So I'll create the folder. Now within YouTube, I can have multiple lists or I can just go ahead and start creating uh, my tasks right in here. So let's say, um, let's say if I create, if I want to create a list for uh, this particular week, right? So let me create a new list for week. Oops. Let me go back. Okay. List settings. Edit or rename. And this is going to be week of 15th. I'm just going to delete this. That's an extra list. So now under marketing, which is my space, I have a folder, YouTube. Now within YouTube, I have a list, which is week of uh, June 15th. Now within this list, I can start putting in tasks. So under the board view, let's say to do my task is video for 6.15, okay? I'll save this. Now within this task, which I've created, I can have multiple checklists. So I can, uh, you know, use a template for my YouTube workflow. So that's keyword research, the title, uh, scripting the video, recording the video, adding an intro, adding an outro, using tags, all of those things. So I could, I could put all of that under a checklist here. And we can save checklists as templates. So suppose I had a template, which was my YouTube checklist. I could just, you know, uh, use that checklist right here and have an entire workflow here. I could attach my thumbnail here. I could have subtasks, but since I'm having a checklist, I don't really need a subtask because every time, every time I get one thing done from that checklist, I could just check it off. So, like I said, I, uh, this, even inside a particular task, there are tons of things that you can do. But like I said, I don't want to, uh, go too fast and overwhelm with you, uh, or overwhelm you with too much. So, this is where we're going to stop right now. I think 15, 20 minutes in, we've kind of covered the very basics of how you can use ClickUp, right? So you're going to create your ClickUp account. They're going to ask you to create your workspace, which is going to be your business workspace. For me, it is uh, the workspace right here. So Shweta's workspace, we are inside that workspace. And in the workspace, I created a space called marketing. And within that space, I created a folder called YouTube. Now I could go ahead and create another folder. Let's say I wanted to create another folder. So I could just click on this plus sign and this could be a new folder called Facebook. And then under Facebook, I could have a list week of June 15th, like I have for YouTube. So this basically helps me organize the different marketing efforts in my business into different folders. And within each folder, depending on how you better uh, kind of operate, right? So for me, I can divide it into different lists in the, on the basis of weeks. Maybe you want to divide it into lists based on your content uh, themes, right? So maybe 
under YouTube, you would have a list that said um, marketing tool reviews, just an example. A second list that said side hustle ideas, whatever, right? So whatever YouTube topics you're using, you could divide your folder based on that. I prefer to just, you know, do it uh, based on the duration. So for me, under YouTube, YouTube is my folder. Under that, the multiple lists would be week of uh, June 15th. I would create another list. Uh, another list would be week of June 22nd. So new list. Week of And then within each list, you would have your tasks. And then, of course, you can go into the tasks and create subtasks. So this is a board view. You could have a list view where all the tasks would be like a list. And then you could also have a calendar view where if I said that the due date for this, of course, if it's a video for 6.15, the due date would be 15th. So due date is today. So when you look at the calendar view, you can see that for 15th, you have this video due. So this is like the very basic of ClickUp. Again, you know, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments.